guys got nothing to lose right now, okay? Sad to say we couldn't do any more. We didn't make the playoffs, but it's a big difference from last year, right? You guys did some good things. You got staff members talking about what you guys did this year, how you guys changed the attitude of the team. You guys made football fun for once. We have one game left to do what we want to do. Play every down like it was your last. Seniors, just enjoy the game and give it all you got. Because after tonight, you can't go back. Good, guys. Really good. This beautiful place of the Wind River Reservation, I always come home to. Very beautiful area, a lot of natural resources and a lot of good people. This reservation is made up of two different tribes, the Eastern Shoshone and the Northern Rampo people. The culture and traditions are big around here. We have one big powwow every June. It also is a place where uh, many sun dances have been held over the years. <laughs> This is uh, Sacagawea's uh, uh, grave site. She was a guide with the Lewis and Clark uh, expedition. The culture and traditions and language, it's important for children of both tribes. It gives them their own identity and, and what they, they need to pass on for the next generation. I want to be, make a difference, just like how they did. I want to be your models for a younger generation. Young people want to feel like they belong to something. And most uh, will turn to the positive aspects, which is team sports. I think for Romero, having a son and then trying to juggle school and sports, he's, he's doing a pretty good job staying pretty level. Yeah, this is my son. Yeah, he was actually born, what, two days before our first game. <laughs> he's like, nope, don't touch me. He's just kidding. Uh, when Romero first started out, he wanted to go, you know, out with his friends and go party with them and I'm glad that he grew up and realized you know that you have to have an education or you know you don't have a life. Matiti, other side, flip on the other side of the ball. I think having Jose around for him has given him a shoulder to lean on. Jose transferred here about the beginning of last year. Well the freshmen didn't want to join they were scared of getting hurt so these guys just asked me if I'd come over and play with them and I just said yeah. Yeah well, good brother. <laughs> <laughs> I know last year when we were given the opportunity to either stay at 11 man or 6 man, we jumped at the chance to drop down to 6 man simply because we didn't have the numbers to compete in the 11 man game. Our school is like only 150 kids. A big class has 10 students, a small one will have 4. We couldn't finish the fourth quarter because we never had enough people. And that really takes a toll on our team. The reservation has gotten a lot bigger. I know when I was going to school, we didn't have so much uh, talk about all the violence that's going on. It's unfortunate that across Indian country, we do have these significant challenges in public safety. I was reading a case of uh, somebody whose child had been murdered and their brother and father had also died violently. This, this is generational. Obviously, the violence and some of those uh, unfortunate areas of reservation here is pretty much driven by substance abuse, alcoholism, drug abuse. We look at a low social economic community that we're in, you know, and those things are comparable to inner cities. And in 2010, through the federal government, we got more law enforcement officers. The now has 31 officers patrolling the streets and responding to calls. I think the approach they took at the beginning was not good for the local community here. There was cases of people being pulled over, you know, and sometimes, you know, harassed, and it got to the point where it was, um, you know, physical. We had uneducated people about our tribal communities that came in and probably thought that most of us were criminals and treated us as such. It's just a few people that do something wrong makes the whole reservation look bad. We had some of our uh, spiritual people come in and teach them what we was about and, and so on and so forth. So things got a little better after that. I 
Nick Rollins bringing barbecue beef. Yeah. This is the first time a lot of these boys have won some games this year. So that was a that was a big plus for us. What we usually do before all our home games is we have a team meal. Oh, you want cigarettes? Yeah. All right. We came up short of our goal this year, trying to make the playoffs. I got injured two games ago, and I was out. When he got hurt, it put a big hole hole in there for us. If we won one of those games, we could have went to the playoffs. But they played hard, and they almost won. They were they lost by one touchdown. But um, I think it's been a good season. It's a it's the right step in the right direction for us finally. On and leave on a positive note. You gotta be aggressive tonight, Jose. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Newberry Flyers. Come on, Nico! You guys are doing good. Let's keep moving the ball. Receivers, you guys gotta catch him. Come on now. Good job, Jack. Hey guys, I know this ain't what you wanted. It was a tough last game. The sun rises tomorrow, all right? Let's get a breakdown. As far as the team goes, I'm proud of all of them. I mean, they've all done a good job from the freshmen to the seniors. I'm gonna miss playing with my brother. It's gonna be hard, because I'm gonna go to a different college, and no one's gonna have my back. <laughs> I have no words for it. I want to make a difference, not just on this field, but in my whole community, in my school, make this a better place for everyone. Right right there, that says it all. I mean, if these little kids got, can find somebody to look up to, especially these guys, I mean, that's just going to pay off in the long run for us and for the team, for the school, for the community. We got to teach our young people that you're going to contribute in a, a positive or negative way. So we need to let them know that their contribution means something that they're worth something. 